everyone. As you know, we love our adoption ever after stories. And this was a banner year for some of the most heartwarming happy tales yeah. ever. And here with a beautiful recap True. is our pet rescue expert, Larissa. <sighs> Larissa. I hope I can keep it together during this. Good. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you know, I have some really exciting news that after a lot of emails and a lot of tallying things up, we have a new Happy Tail count. We have reached 730. Oh, my Come on. 730 oh my animals. Is that right? That's so fantastic. It is so fantastic. And you know, I mean. Thanks to you, really, thank honestly. You. Thank you. It's it's hard because rescue, what you don't, you see the fun on TV. You mm -hmm. see playing with the dogs and look yeah. how cute. It, there's so much difficulty in yeah. rescuing. There's so much that you see that you don't want to see and you wish you could unsee. And so to see that number, 730, and to get emails from people and see our colleagues bring their pets in that yeah. they've rescued from I, our That's dogs, right, that's right. It just, it is so important and it, it, it reminds me that what we're doing is making a difference. And while there's still yeah. so much work to be done, we are, we're, we're getting there, we're making strides. We're making huge progress. It's important to emphasize the happy tales, oh, as you say. Yeah. And uh, really like we exciting. said, 730 and some beautiful heartwarming tales uh, from this year alone. We've got some highlights, okay? You ready? Okay, I don't Let's know. Take a look. <laughs> We are gonna check in with Larissa and today's adoptable puppies again. <laughs> we have helped 665, 674, 677, 687, 695, 697 animals. Oh, this is a happy tale, literally. I saw him, I fell in love. He's been the best thing in our lives so far. <laughs> I'm telling you, this guy's changed my life. How has Rocky changed your lives? You actually get much more out of it than you ever put into it. It is a big commitment, oh but look at that face. It's definitely worth it. He just brought a really great, playful energy into our home. He loves going on walks. He loves us. He's always by my side. He's just a real life buddy. All he wants to do is to be loved. It just makes your life so much fuller. We just can't imagine life without him. Every dog has a perfect home and they're out there. Thank you, Audrey, for yes. giving that to Ellie. Piece. I'd like to say, honestly, to our producers, yeah. how beautiful no, to put that yeah. together that was to amazing. really show how much you, my friend, have done in this <laughs> year. And there's so much more to come. But I'd say, but aside from seeing those adoptable <laughs> rescues in their forever homes, was there anything that really stood out for you this year? Yeah. Oh. Are you, do you think you'll be able to get Can through you, it? Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, okay. sign language yes. you? <laughs> no, you know, other than the 730 animals finding homes, which is amazing beyond belief, the ripple effect has been huge. Mm. And just getting the amount of emails and messages that I've received from people who are now thinking about rescue, it's right. in the front of their mind. And there's a woman named Kim in Washington who I've become good Facebook friends, who is putting together this amazing donation drive. Oh and gosh. look at all this stuff she's been collecting for the, wow. the, the shelters and organizations in her area. And then our own wonderful Tracy who works with us, I she know. now takes her son to read to shelter animals. Our executive because, producer. Yes, yeah. because Cole just loves animals and it became so apparent that there's so much that you can do no matter what age you are exactly. and and that 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 connection between human and animal is so wonderful and then I just received an email a few days ago and this is gonna be hard not to cry through but a woman named Deb who said 
Yeah, and this just goes to show the, not only the dogs, the people that I've connected with. This is Deb and her cat, and she wrote to me and said she has an incurable illness, and she's going through all her stuff and figuring out where to donate it to, oh, and the boy. last thing that she was having a hard time with was her climbing ropes, because she was a rope climber. She was a, 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 a climber, rock climber. rock climber, thank you. And she felt like saying goodbye or throwing away her ropes was saying goodbye to her life. It was that final door. Oh, and boy. so she saw that segment oh. I did where the guy, Dog Patch SF, takes old ropes and turns them into leashes that he donates so these rescue animals can live. Oh. And so she's donating them all, and she just wrote to me saying how much it meant to her. and. Those are the kinds of things you never expect to see doing this job. And I am I'm very, very, very lucky because of you and because of everybody oh. out there. And I Well, we're very lucky just, for you, Larissa. Yeah. I mean we I mean also the pets out there and the, the animals, animals are lucky to have you. Rescue, we yeah. uh, all of us. And and you know, I think it's important also to remind everybody uh, to see some of the uh, some of the, the animals that haven't found their forever yeah. homes just yet. I mean, there's like you say, there's work to be done. There's this, great work that has been done but let's take a look at some of these guys that yes, still need homes. Yes, there's a wonderful dog named Luna who came on our show in August of 2017. Look at this hippopotamus. <laughs> she is a pit bull hippo, and she is so <laughs> sweet, and she's available at Pet Adoption Fund, and oh my they're amazing. They've been keeping her happy and healthy and safe, but she still needs, <laughs> <laughs> she needs a home of her own and maybe oh. some good walks in the park. And then we also had Oreo and Nismo, which were a, an adorable couple of dogs older. Oh no. But yes. looking for their forever home, they're available at Unleashed Rescue, and they're just the cutest little odd couple, oh. but they do need to go together. And then Fuzzy, who you may remember didn't even look like a dog, he is this little so old cute. man at Muttville in San Francisco. He's like a teddy bear, and he is just living life and loving life, but of course would love that adoption oh. ever after. Oh, Larissa, so they are cute. so cute, and I say it all the time, but honestly, you really are the patient patron saint of animals. And we cannot wait to see what you have in store for 2019. Yes. 730. Let's keep going. And the 2019 will be 10,000. Thank you. you. I can hope do it? so. And I couldn't do it without you guys. Oh, Both of you. Marissa, Thank we you. love you. And to see all the animals that we showcase every single day on the show, all you have to do is go to hallmarkchannel.com and, of course, visit Larissa at savebythel.com. She does save them all. Thank you, Larissa. And you all stick around because up next, I'm going to help you save your New Year's beauty resolutions. That's right, you're gonna stick to them. Come on back, everyone. It's gonna be easy.